James here. If you're wondering why I always have to sort of stop at those points, is I can't upload more than 10 minutes onto YouTube, so I need to keep the tutorials less than 10 minutes and the piece. So we're going to continue on, and this is our reshape. I'm just going to copy it. Actually, we'll turn it onto a blank frame and we'll set this okay I failed to rename this properly so I will now rename it properly and now you can see because if you just, if it happens to be you know, you found the name I saw there that was one instead of V. You can just go down here and rename it. There's no problems at all. We want to leave this in E. And we want to copy it. And I'm just going to take the interior out. Because this is the, if you look at your mouse shapes, the F is your sort of little O. It's also not, you know, this sort of perfect oval. So I might just grab the contour editor. And yeah, I settled with that for a shape. I might just make it a tiny bit smaller. I mean, you can tell it's whatever shape you feel is right for your lip sync. So we've now got all the way up to F. And the last one is kind of an anxious shape. It's with your bottom lip sort of curled over. Now I'm going to probably do this stylized a little bit. So I'm going to set this to maybe this shape. I've basically, I want to have something overlaying so I can see the shapes of my previous mouths. It helps me draw a shape for this mouth which fits. This is going to be sort of the opposite of top mouth where her bottom her top is actually going to be smaller smaller than her top not by much but a little and so what I tend to like to do in this sort of situation is just add a couple of sort of curls on the bottom of the mouth I mean, if you were going to do this, there are a number of ways you could draw them. I'm just going to take a more sort of easy way and just add a couple in. Like you might want to want to make it so there's a curve on the bottom of bottom of the lip as well. But it's all entirely up to you. But you'll see that when you look at this from a distance, it does work, and that's really what you want. You just want things to work. So I think I'm going to do the curve this time. I see thing delete when I get rid of these points. So I select, delete, select, delete. Pull this one up. That's okay. Get rid of all of those points. I've actually kind of edited this in a bit. So. I'm 
I'm not unlucky shapes. So I'm going to have to bend it out a little. Probably don't need to be as open as this. This is a G. So now if we go out and have a look at our, you can see how it's a kind of a tense shape. I mean, you can do this drawing however you like and that's just how I decided to draw it. And you can have a look, we've now got all our different shapes. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and our X. So in the next part, I'll show you how to apply this using the auto lip sync. And we'll turn my onion skin off. So see you in the next part.